What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you guys how to clean out a carburetor out of a Mercury 15 horsepower. This is a four stroke. So first thing we're going to do is just take off this whole intake assembly along with the filter so we can take out the carburetor. Alright guys, so at this point I have the carburetor fully disassembled. Uh, from right here, this is the idle screw. Uh, before you take it off, just be sure to count, like tighten it and count how many turns it goes in. And then you can just take it off. In this case, I had five and a half turns in. So after that, just take it out. This is the main jet that you need to be sure and it's fully clean. Uh, to, to clean these, 
we use uh, just something like these. These are to clean out uh, tips for like torches and stuff like that. And don't force, don't force it in there. Just pick one that barely fits and just wiggle it around until the all the little pinholes right there are clean. Uh, but we'll get to, to those later. Uh, these, this is the needle for the float. Um, at right here on this rubber, let's see if I can focus. On this rubber, just you just want to check it, and make sure that it doesn't have a line on it. Them. It doesn't have a line around the seat, the rubber seat. That's where it sits. So if it does, you might want to replace that. If not, it'll just uh, overflow on the bowl right here and it will leak out. So, yeah, right now I'm just going to go ahead and clean this, clean these little paddles right here for the choke and just the throttle. Clean those out, uh, make sure it's very clean. And this needle right here, that's for the prime, for like a. Uh, I'll show you later. But just be sure it's very, very clean. All right guys, so here is the carburetor, already cleaned. Um, just, this is where the needle for the float would sit. So just as a very important tool that you wanna have in your toolbox are Q-tips. Now these Q-tips, you just wanna grab a little bit of a chemical like this. That's what you're going to use to clean out the seat right here. Just turn it to one side. While pushing down. And that's how you clean on the inside. Yeah. Le traduzco un par de libros del inglés al 
salmón. Eh, ¿Cómo con el salmón? Yo diría que Chomsky, el padre de Adam, es una de las tres personas que va a construir en el mundo de la energía, su determinación, su velocidad, su ninguna que se está comunicando, no nada más para la persona de la vida, sino para la vida. Platicando sobre, bueno, y con un año, eh, eso es lo que eh, algunos ya me mencionan en el coral en México, pero ahora quisiera pasar a ver con ustedes, por favor. ¿Qué significa esto? Alright guys, so that is it for the carburetor. Everything's already installed. All the lines from the top to vacuum lines, breather lines, 
That's the bottom for the for the primer. The bottom one right here goes all the way to the front, which has a prime bulb right here. Um, there's one on the back. That one just uh, as a breather also. And uh, this thick one, that's the um, basically the fuel pump. And it goes to the back. That's the one that fills up the bowl for the carburetor. So this little thing is also like a primer. When you hit the throttle, when you hit the throttle, that one pushes this one and it squirts a bit of fuel from the bowl directly on inside the carburetor. That way it helps start. That one you just move the throttle, it does that automatically. So that is it for the carburetor. All right, one more thing we're gonna do onto this engine is the impeller. We're gonna ch uh, change out the impeller on this one. So for this, it's only four bolts right here, two on each side, and this rod on the back. This is for the gear selector. It's gonna loosen this bottom one and uh, release the this one. Let's push it back. For that, just uh, you're gonna want to make sure that it's in neutral, and that's it. Let me just get some tools so we can start getting this off. Okay, so, well, I forgot my tripod today, but I'm gonna set you back a few feet away, still be able to see. Alright guys, so the lower unit is already removed. Um, sometimes you might hear me call this a transmission. I just say that because it has a forward and reverse gears, so that's why I call it transmission at times, but it's still a lower unit. Anyway, so this one only has three, uh, three bolts right here. These I believe are 10. Let me just get that one. Alright guys, so here it is. Um, I don't know, I think one of my subscribers or somebody just left a comment here. Always when you remove this thermostat housing or impeller housing or whatever you call it, um, make sure what side, what side the paddles are rotating to. I had someone tell me I mean, obviously we do this for a living, but I had someone tell me that the impeller doesn't always rotate clockwise. So, if it was like this, 
let's take it out. Hmm. Now, these seem to be turning clockwise. Now the reason I'm saying, I'm not saying you're wrong or anything like that because I'm not here to prove anybody wrong. I'm just here to learn and to give out my experience. But the only reason why that is wrong is because you can't have the engine turning counterclockwise. Like it always turns one way, clockwise. I mean you can pull or you can try cranking it and it's only going to turn one way, which is clockwise. Now, if you have a, an engine that turns counterclockwise, uh, you have a very rare and special engine. If you, if, you, if you know where I'm getting at, right? The engine can't turn clockwise and then the impeller on the bottom turning counterclockwise. It's just impossible, right? because it's connected directly onto the engine straight shaft down onto the impeller so if you have a counterclockwise turning engine keep it because that is one in I mean I guess you would have the only one but I'm just giving out my experience here uh, we do these for a living and just thought I'd let you guys know I, I haven't seen a counterclockwise turning engine uh, maybe, I don't know, let's ask. La impeller, no más da vueltas pa? Clockwise. No puede ir pa este lado? No, porque si lo pones ahorita así, todos estos se van a doblar como quiera para otro lado. Pero el motor, o hay unas impellers que voltean para el otro lado? No, ni una. Ni una. Todos los motores voltean. No, no, no. So, es que alguien me había dicho en, en el comentario de que una impeller, siempre hay que mirar cómo la quitas, porque él quitó una que dio al otro lado. ¿Es imposible? It's impossible. Yeah, just to clear, just to clear that out. Impellers always turn clockwise, always, no matter if you have an it on board, inboard, whatever you call it, or, you know. Um, just to clarify that out, always clockwise. On impeller, the Mercury 15. It's Mercury Vinci so this impeller we don't have it in stock so we're gonna have to order it uh, an easy way to tell which is your impeller right here you would have your sticker where it has your serial number this one is scratched right there so it's missing some numbers so we're gonna have to call and guess which one it is uh, but that's where you would find your model number to where you can order your impeller so I guess I'll See you guys once I have the parts. Alright guys, so we got the part already. This is for a 2008 Mercury 15 4 stroke. This is the impeller part. All right, guys, so this is just a little bit of uh, petroleum grease just to lubricate. Yeah, the impeller can go in on whichever direction. Just be sure that your wood rough key is in place. I'm going to set this down. Okay. 
No. On the inside, right here of the impeller housing, I'm just gonna add a little bit more grease. Set it down. And you're gonna push the housing down just slightly while you rotate it clockwise. There. Alright guys, so that is it for the carburetor clean and impeller replacement on this Mercury 15 horsepower 4 stroke engine. If you guys have any questions, please leave me a comment down below and I'll try to answer as best as I can. If you guys are still confused about the rotation of the impeller, just when you remove it, just be sure and check which side it's rotating to. And um, otherwise, I mean, just be sure and lubricate the veins on the impeller and it'll just redirect itself no harm done so that is it guys i'll see you on my next video thanks for watching peace out